Hi friends, this is Reverend Elia Kemmler from First Parish Church of Groton, Massachusetts, and I'm beginning a new series today, which I hope will be helpful to you. I'm going to be reading some of the Psalms. The book of Psalms found in the Hebrew Bible are songs or poems written to God. They were meant to be sung and they cover this huge range of emotions. They're incredibly human. They're fearful and joyful and angry and pleading and content and happy. Jews and Christians have turned to them for centuries for comfort and reassurance. But those of us from more liberal religious traditions or no religious tradition at all uh, may not understand their comfort. They seem like they're addressed to a patriarchal God and full of stuff about asking God to smite enemies or punish adversaries. I felt that way until I found Nan C. Merrill's adaptations of the Psalms. Hers are creative translations, and they give us a whole different window into the Psalms. She refers to God as simply love or beloved, and she recasts adversaries as things within us, not outside of us, things which keep us from love. So here is Psalm number five. Give ear to my words, O my beloved. Give heed to my groaning, listen to the sound of my cry, my love, heart of my heart. For to you do I pray. O oh, my beloved, in the morning you hear my voice. Throughout the day I offer myself to you. I wait for you in silence, for you are love, and you are and you delight in goodness. All that is of love walks with you. The humble stand before you. You dwell with those who open their hearts to receive you. You smile on those who speak truth. Tears from your heart fall on those who separate themselves from you. Through the abundance of your steadfast love, I shall enter your house. I shall worship in your holy temple with reverence for you. Lead me, O oh my beloved. In your mercy, lighten my fears. Make your way straight before me that I may follow for there is no truth in fear. It leads to separation. It opens the door to loneliness. It speaks not with integrity, but out of illusion. Let this guilt I bear, my beloved, be seen in your light. Forgive the many false ways I have. Surround them with your love, for they keep me separated from you. Let all who come to love rejoice. Let them sing for joy and protect them so that those who live in your love may dance in your light. For you bless the peaceful and the just, O oh, friend to all. You encircle them with your healing light and hold them in your love. So may you feel held in love and I'll see you next time.